Hi, I'm Chris Leader. I'm the president of Leaders Edge Training, and I want to welcome you to our monthly video tips. Please feel free to send them on to anybody on your contact management system. I know you and your friends are really going to enjoy them. Hi, I'm here today with Ingrid Mendinga. She's the president of Jolt Marketing. She's been in the mortgage and real estate marketing business for 14 years. She's exceptional at it. Ingrid, I have a question. I'd like to have some of my, my students and my clients avoid making mistakes when they move forward with their marketing. So if there was one thing that continues to come up over and over again, what is the one mistake that you see from the real estate and the mortgage industry? The common mistake that I see, and it has to do with personal branding and marketing, is that very often agents and brokers will say to me, I really want to be different. Like, I don't want to look like everybody else. I got to differentiate. There's thousands of competitors. What do I do? But the challenge is, very seldom do people have a clear idea with the confidence of actually delivering on that difference. So you have to realize, as a marketer, Number one, we're not really mind readers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you have to spell out how you want to be perceived as different. And then the other thing is you have to actually allow the marketer to showcase you as different. And if anything, it's an exercise in, in personal development because you will be perceived as different and that's a good thing. Maybe you have brighter colors, maybe you have a stronger message, maybe you have something that's a little unique, a quality that you're really showcasing. But very often, people will want to be perceived as different, but they have a real challenge with actually looking different. Defining that, different, that yes. difference. Yes, get comfortable with being different. That's how you stand out. I mean, in every industry, there's leaders, right? How are they leaders? Well, leader's edge, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how are they leaders, though? Because they've taken a stand on something, or they've committed to a certain look, or they've committed to certain colors that they're going to use consistently everywhere. You can't keep on changing your mind. You can't keep on being so neutral about everything. You gotta take a stand, you gotta stand up, you gotta step out, and you gotta find something that you can really anchor your whole personal brand on, and you have to love it, because you're gonna commit for years to it. Going forward, I have to think that if those are the qualities that you are your strong suits, then I have to imagine the people that you're going to attract in the future would be people who would appreciate those qualities the most. And your business just expands and compounds because yes. of it. Am I right? 100%. I can't thank you enough for this tip. Thank you.